Good morning, everyone. Another day here in the uh, fire zone, and it's another day to try to get some access again. We still have very filthy, dirty air around the city today. It was clean this morning, but I think the uh, breeze has now changed so that the wind is coming in from the east. We're actually talking about the possibility on Thursday of having a little bit of rain, which is still kind of unusual for this time of year. So we'll have to see if that materializes. A lot of times what people think is going to happen weather-wise never quite materializes, but we shall see. Be careful getting on here. So, yeah, it's in a very smoky. They're still fighting uh, the Tubbs fire, which was the deadliest fire, the one that consumed a good section of Santa Rosa, has reached 70% containment. And the uh, Nunn's fire is about 15%, uh, I think, and that's the one that was... Uh, threatening Bennett Valley and coming over that way. So the air quality is still very poor here today. But we're just going to see how far we can get. I'm pretty sure Coffee Park is still under military lockdown. A lot of people in town are starting to ask what really happened at Coffee Park. You know, I don't want to see it made into a major motion picture of second guessing alien landings and all that kind of stuff but it's it's really strange day after day we hardly have any wind at all they may be waiting for to see if we get some rain it'll finally extinguish some of these fires and maybe they'll feel like it's safe enough to let somebody into some of these areas who knows i don't know i can't answer for them it's uh, it's all up to cal fire their certification process because as they say suppose somebody returns to one of these areas and then something happens either a gas line wasn't capped or and all of a sudden there's another fire well in that situation you sure know who's going to get the blame when the stuff hits the fan so you can sort of understand the elements of caution on their part. So we're going to go up and see. I heard Bicentennial is open, but it doesn't mean much because it's it's really up the hill we need to go up to Fountain Grove, and that's, that's still been pretty much locked off. I think you had to have proof of residency up there to be able to get up to that uh, area, which is understandable. So, all right. property there so have to see this is uh, day number nine and the National Guard remains so. doesn't bode well not much going on over at the uh, Cottingtown mobile home Park just had PG&E still trying to restore service. Let's give you a better look up at the hill with a lot of the burn zone up there. It's still exceedingly difficult to uh, mobility. Is still a big issue. I'm going to try to see if I can get up to the overpass and over to where the Sheraton is and all that. Are the uh, 
area where we were able to get into the uh, Kmart you can see that's that's really under lockdown again there's no way to get in there so see if we can get up the hill this is the uh, overpass that I was able to do the videoing from I walked up that first morning here really had no concept of what I was looking at Like they still have that pretty much under shutdown up there. See the uh, mobile home park over here on the side. parked up here. I'm just going to ask these guys if I can access on foot up here now. We'll see. Kind of tucked in there on the side. Notice up the hill that they have uh, covered up the uh, Hilton sign up there. The flag remains. Well, that's that. We're not going to get up the hill there, so might as well just roll on. It's going to roll up there and do a little more video, but uh, guys talking about looters. I mean, I don't know what the hell a looter could possibly have up in that area up there. But who knows? And I'm sure as heck not going to tangle with the authorities here. the mobile home park over there. I think we can probably cross over and get a little better look from this. There's the journey's end. They're not letting anybody in now. Into there. No way of getting in now. That's the reality of it. I still see smoke over there from that corner.
I'm not saying I'm glad we got the footage that we did, but uh, wouldn't be able to get it now. I don't see any residents, former residents or anything. Guys sure locking that up, huh? And wonder in times of civil things, disasters, maybe you wonder how rumors of government experiments gone wrong or aliens or all kinds of things. A good part of the reason is I think that the uh, Various agencies mishandle people's ability to check stuff out, so they start to get suspicious. This is what day nine, and uh, we were able to walk up on the day after the fire and get access. Now, I understand homeowners don't want well, there's nothing really like actually. This is there's more left in here than most of the other communities. Because this, these were metal, the other things were made of wood, but uh, you can understand why. <clears throat> why people start to get suspicious about activities and you see National Guard presence and all that. It's very, it's very intimidating to people and it's very unnatural to have this. But you know, our own police department can't handle this now. I just do as I'm told. I'm not a troublemaker. Guys, well, that's the deal here. As you can see, things remain very much on lockdown. With military helicopters still flying in the skies.
Day nine, that's the update.